Ah, hello, one and all. This is Hybrid Steel. Thank you very much for joining me in today's Hydronir video. And as you can see, we've gone a little bit mad. Now, the reason why we have got this massive tower of stuff is because, well, there are 200 round drills there. And I think this is literally the end of my computers. Like, sort of, this is as much as I can do. Okay, so we have turned all my settings down to low. Uh, I've got V-Sync on because then that sort of gives it a limit as well. And I'm down to 30 frames per second because this kicks the crud out of my computer. Now, the mods I'm using, I'm using the F7 mod so I can, if I do have a problem and I have a mess and everything else, I literally just delete the, all the mess and start again. I'm using the no dirt clumping mod because this machine fires so much dirt out all in one go, it's not even worth considering having it not on. Uh, so yeah, that was a big thing for me. Uh, apart from that, I'm literally playing the game as is. I haven't put in any eternal crystals or anything. I made all of this myself and there is nothing else. But if you guys want any of the mods, hit down in the uh, description box. There's a little thing down there that basically links you off to the Hydroneer Discord. From there, you can come and talk to the community. Come and check out the mods as well that other people are making. And um, yeah, go and check out the new shop that's been invented by the modding community. So it's all good. All right, well, one thing I have got to sort of like show you before we start. And I've just got to get to the top and then we'll, I'll show you the start. I've put a shard block in every single chamber. Every single chamber is running like 20 round drills, okay? It's to give it as much power as possible because it was the only way that I could fathom doing it, basically. So, yeah, it, 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 was, uh, it was a lot of work doing this. So one side is using a pure funnel drop. This basically just drops the dirt all the way straight down the middle and I shouldn't have any major problems there. And this side is literally just a death drop. It's just going straight down to the bottom and hoping that it doesn't get sort of messed up. Uh, this is the reason why I'm using the uh, no dirt clumping. And uh, basically it's so that everything makes it to the bottom and doesn't cause an issue. I mean, if it does get stuck, then at least then it won't make any other problems and it's all good. So we're going to start this machine up. What I need to do to make this in all fair, I need to turn that valve on and that valve on. That's both the valve, uh, both the pipes that are going up the top. So these four chambers here are literally powering all the pipes that go up to all the other pipes and they're all getting powered off into there. The, those four and those four are powering each side of the conveyor belts and the harvesters and the sorters as well. And all I need to do is flip this switch. But I do need to make sure that the durability on my filters is 100%. Pretty sure I did repair them before we go, but let's, uh, let's give this a butcher's. 79, 84, 80, yeah, great. Okay. Uh, what I need is I need a tool bag. Okay. And that should be 100%. 100 by 100, all good. So th that's the plus side to having the, magnet, uh, the magnifying glass, as you can tell which ones are broken. So with the new patch, if you guys weren't aware, the 1.3 and updates all the, way, all the way from there, all you have is five filters on the line, and nothing that side of the filters gets hurt. So it's all good. I'm going to turn this on now, and I'm going to do a five-minute test how much we can make now. So this is going to hurt, like, well, it's not going to hurt so much. It's just going to be a lot of loading. This is why I've turned the, um, this is why I've literally turned everything down because so much gets made so quickly. As you can see already, I mean, it's 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 basically already starting to cake, cake the PC and we're only 20 seconds in. So we are now dropping down to about one or two frames a second. It's not even that. So what I'm actually going to do is... Um, I'm going to go and stand next to that valve. <laughs> if I can get to the valve. And literally, I will... Um, yeah, I'll be back here when we need to clean up. So it's all coming back to normality now. It's like, yeah, finally it's working. Right, so now we'll go back to my game settings. I'll turn the game back up. All right, so we are now coming up to the last load after having a really, really stupidly big explosion on our hands and that that was a bit of a downside but we're we're cleaned up now we're we're all good and finally all this is now done so rightio okay so that is all good right now we get to turn off the conveyor belt for once and for all and we're down to 6000 particles of ore so first off and this always causes a little bit of grief. We're going to take our gem prod and we're going to take it to the tractor. And then we're going to get our asses to the shop with that in a minute. Right, so let's just drop my money over here. And we're going to be we're going to have a, a couple of issues with frames. And that is just because there are so many particles in that one bin. 
it's going to be a problem. Okay, so first off, we don't need that. But, I mean, that's going to be a big... Okay, so this is uh, five minutes at 200 round drills. 449.9. That's not bad. It's not too shabby. And in all fairness, some of the some of the crystals are in the other boxes as well. And uh, yeah, not bad for five minutes worth of work. Okay, so f next is our friend Cloutium. Four and a half grand. Nice. Right, so we, we just shove that in the back of the truck. Okay, so first off, we need our metal. Now, metal, we're going to have to bung into the uh, funnel. Uh, not funnel, the furnace. Then we're going to cut it into three sections. Right. Let me just get the sword highlighted. There's my hammer. One. Two. Three. Hammer time. There you go. Right. Okay, cool. So uh, we get... Oh, where's our gemstone gone? It was literally... Oh, there it is. Under the saw. Ever so tiny. Right. So we need to put our gemstone on the anvil first. Switch this to necklace. So we can pull out that. Stick it on the anvil. Stick that on the anvil. Get my hammer. Oh, wrong one. That's my floorboard. Get my hammer and El Presto. Right, okay, so um, we've now got our giant necklace. We've got a giant sword, our clouting bar, and our gems. Now I'll see you over at the shop. Okay, so first off, what we've got to do is we've got to take our gem-filled pan, then we'll do the Cloutium, and then we'll do the sword and the necklace. And if you think this is laggy, uh, as, I've sh as I've shown you before, get ready for Lag City. There we go. 5,636 gems. That's, that's, that's welcome. Okay, so and with the crystals in the bottom, if I what I will do is I'll put them back on the conveyor belt. They'll go through uh, for, to making another battery. And that's all good. Cloutium. We're just going to flog the Cloutium. It's all good. 4,615. Not too bad. So we've got 10,000 at the moment. And now we're, they're the things that are worth least. Okay, next is the giant sword of Gyronormusum. 85 grand so 95,000 not too shabby and then the necklace Mr. T's prize possession 106,000 all in all 201,858 now I said at the end of my last video which was the 180 section uh, the 186 round drills I said if I could get the last 16 on there I'll break 200,000 in five minutes that is ridiculous. That means I can make a million dollars or a million hydrocoin in in twenty five minutes. Now that's not bad, but it does mean I'd have to sit here for twenty five minutes at one frame per second, rattling off. So there you go. That's all the money I've earned from <laughs> three hundred ninety two grand. Not too shabby. Anyways, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, uh, apparently I'm, me I'm being called the king of big builds now, so I have no idea where that came from. Uh, it's just something I heard in the Discord, and it's like, no, I'm not really. I'm just playing the game. But this was a labor of love. I'm. This is basically the last time I'm going to do anything this big unless the optimization of the game turns up and so on and so forth. Um, I've got a couple of other videos I've got to work on and so on. But if you do have any questions or you want something shown in the game or anything I can, I can help you guys with, down in the comment section below, I would love to hear your thoughts. And the reason why is because without you guys, there is no channel. It's just me talking to myself for 95% of my life. So... If you have got any questions, hit them down there. I'll be around whenever I can. As soon as someone's put a comment out, I normally try and answer as quickly as possible. So thank you very much for joining me. This has been Hybrid Steel. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates if you haven't before. And don't forget, you can now help this channel out by becoming a channel member, which means you pay this channel a couple of pounds a month. I get to buy new games and showcase them for you. And we'll see if you like them as well. So thank you very much for popping by. I'll see you all later. Peace out, have fun, and enjoy everything you guys do. Bye-bye for now.